Marshall, it's been 14 years since I last saw you, my man. And uh, here we are under some difficult and different circumstances. How are you doing? Yeah, it's good to see you. <laughs> it's really good to see you. It brings back some really good memories. Sprays it wide to Leonard. Now into the box for 12 and first time shot. And a goal, it's 1-1. Just like that, the Revs hit back. Back in 2002 with the New England Revolution, I had a 22-year-old teammate named Marshall Leonard. He was a defender, not flashy, and had just one goal and two assists in 63 career MLS games. I got the ball up to you, man. I got the ball up to you, and you just put him away. You used that big head of yours, so. <laughs> but nearly two decades later, Marshall, now 39 and married with three kids, is doing more than he ever could do on the field. He's an emergency room doctor in New York fighting the novel coronavirus. I just pulled up here to the emergency department. Uh, the doctor that I'm gonna be relieving has been here for quite some time. So I'm just arriving here to the, uh, to the entrance. Prior to the virus, we didn't have to do this or we didn't do this, but now we put on this mask right before we even actually get in to the, to the hospital now. Marshall, why do you do this? I do this to keep, to, uh, to help the community, to help, help others. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. I want every American to be prepared for the hard days that lie ahead. This is going to be a very painful two weeks. We've lost over 1,000 New Yorkers. We've reached staggering. The nervous part and the frustration and everything is that we just don't have any really good handle on um, the solution. The wave is building. The number of dead is going up. The number of critically ill people is going up. It continues to be a critical shortage of ventilators. The thought of whether or not we're going to have ventilators um, soon, uh, that's something that, that does scare me. That would be just really an unfortunate, disastrous situation. Marshall, if you had a message for the United States citizens right now, what would it be? Uh, do what you can right now. Um, I know it's tough. I'm in it with you at home. It's something awkward and completely opposite of what we want to do. We want to be close. Being apart um, and not being next to anybody is important. Marshall, how much are you and your colleagues aware of the people going on their balconies, cheering, calling you heroes? What is your reaction to that? It's inspiring. It, I think it keeps us going. I think that all those things helps everybody. It helps all of us um, continuing. I will say that um, we're hearing it. We're hearing it loud and clear, and we're going to keep going. There's nothing that's going to stop us. We just have to keep fighting. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.